a little bit of machine head to start the day and accompanied with of course everything has to be a little bit of coffee coffee metal and on my way for some golfing so first of all well hello my golfing friends ah today it's going to be rough and it's going not to be rough because i'm off and not because i'm uh, it's rough because i had a good night's sleep i have my coffee i've got my medal <laughs> but as conditions for play today will be awful <laughs> but you know you do what you must because we can't live without our good portion of golf so uh, let me do it like this and I have to don't have to carry you yes this is better um, today I'm going to play at Permer End I'm going to play uh, they've got four loops there um, they have uh, and I'm going to play the white and the red or the blue oh shit oh I think it's the white and the blue the two courses that I think are the most interesting ones of the four that they have the other ones I, I also um, walked uh, uh, many times before and the red and the blue I believe blue then I have walked um, uh, less or uh, only one time and I thought that those, those were awesome but conditions are are really really uh, really bad so I know for sure and for a fact that I'm not going to film because uh, the wind is going to be picking up from uh, uh, Windkracht uh, what's it called uh, uh, wind force oh shit I don't know how it's called anyway uh, where it will be um, uh, from 2 ball 4 to uh, 5 ball 4 so uh, only one ball 4 to go and then it's a uh, storm <laughs> at least uh, in the categorization that they use here in ball 4 um, I'm going to play with uh, Roy and Roy uh, he, he is a guy who we have met who recognized us at uh, Nunspeet as you know Nunspeet is my number one favorite course that I know of of course <laughs> it makes sense uh, today and I also will be playing with Vincent they both agreed to join me in this terrible terrible weather so I'm happy that they're just as crazy as I am and um, uh, but again due to the fact that conditions will be extremely tough and uh, it will be uh, uh, not only tough uh, to play at but then I, oh, oh my god man stay away stay away but uh, of course filming is out of the question then because especially with so much wind it's not, not going to be uh, uh, yeah happening <laughs> it's too a hassle with the rain with the wind with uh, trying to then make the best of that I can with such conditions so as it being close to December already I wanted to, you know, uh, do a uh, still uh, because I'm, you know, I, I'm uploading when I'm uploading. Uh, of course, I'm aiming for once a month, but uh, um, last few rounds I, I didn't feel it because my game, ah, my game was bad. Currently, I am handicapped 18.0, but if you look at my last few rounds, I'm not 18.0. <laughs> my driver is really, really. Uh, um, uh, not helping me out it's bringing me into trouble and um, uh, my uh, oh we have to go into it on all right now but that doesn't matter because this works fine um, so my driver is really bringing me into trouble too often and my fairway route although I really love that thing oh yeah I hope it's not too dark at the moment but it, that, it then compensates um, my fairway with three is not not even a very good option uh, because my my the way that I'm hitting the balls so my technique 
is pretty similar so if I get into trouble from the T-Box with my driver it's likely that I get in trouble with my three wood as well so um, then coming back to or coming back to with you know what my performance is then at the moment well it's not 18.0 so one of the goals that I had and I'll mention them uh, one by one for this calendar year is to get to 17.9 handicap which means just below 80 you know of course uh, one and um, with many courses now uh, uh, playing off mats uh, not everything being qualifying anymore uh, also me because I'm practicing something that I do not uh, uh, go for qualifying as well because I need to get a certain practice in with specifically the driver on the course and um, um, so it's not likely that I'm going to make that I'm it's it's just not likely um, I would need to have a little bit of okay conditions to you know get a uh, get a little bit of a relief for bad shots and uh, with these conditions you don't get any kind of help whatsoever so where is the PDC uh, you know the player uh, player conditions uh, where is it where is it helping me it has not never helped me it has only even made it worse for me and I think a number of eight times that I had a reasonable ground uh, round and then apparently because others in my area and enough cards who play better uh, okay uh, well it, I won't make I won't make it a rant but I hate that ruling especially if it's going the other way it's uh, it's an unfair uh, in my opinion an unfair uh, way of uh, looking uh, at uh, conditions because a course how can a course become easier at a certain point that is the course index that has nothing to do with weather weather can of course influence it for the worse Otherwise, the course index or the course rating, uh, I believe it's called, should be done differently. Anyway, oh my god, this guy is really... Sometimes, lorries and trucks and those kind of things, they're, uh, sp specifically when they're within a number plate of a certain uh, European country or countries, where I know that the driver's license is not that hard to uh, get, <laughs> you see it on the road. Nevertheless, I digress other goals that I had uh, uh, of course is also out of the window because I wanted to have a driver that is 80% of the time over 200 me meters and um, uh, I wanted to have uh, at least 50 50% uh, uh, um, more or less in the fairway or right? and that one I didn't count that as much as a goal but I wanted to have every drive uh, further than 200 meters and uh, I, it's it's not it's not happening I, I, I do have the swing speed for it trust me I've got plenty plenty of swing speed but the swing speed is also th one thing that uh, that uh, you know I've got a lack of technique that's <laughs> that's how it is I just don't know how to uh, how to do it and I've uh, uh, tried a lot of things out specifically a little bit uh, also uh, uh, in the uh, alternative uh, ways to hit the ball um, but uh, yeah uh, I'm almost tempted to go for lessons and the almost says it already I'm probably not going to do it and because the tinkering is also fun and uh, I love to try things out but then of course if if you get frustrated on the tee box or by due to yourself <laughs> as always with golf then it's your own fault and uh, you should not get frustrated um, other goals that I had was at least 10 birdies uh, that one I got and I'm going to uh, aim for more birdies next year uh, and for for my uh, goals for this calendar year so 2000 and uh, what is it 2021 uh, I've managed to uh, at least 
get that one. And I didn't have other things. I didn't have goals in percentage on green, you know, like uh, or girls in regulation, because then you have to keep your stats uh, to the letter. And I don't do that. I, uh, I, uh, I, I remember all my feelings during the round. And one of the things that is really bugging me is that one feeling I cannot get under control completely is that I am typically a player that want to hit the ball too hard. So if there's if there's one thing that I'm try I'm going to try to do today is easy swing, easy swing, slow it down, slow it down, and then slow it down means relax and big, but not you know push it because I'm only getting tops specifically tops at that moment you know bladed. Uh, uh, shots etc so um, yeah th so that's something that uh, uh, I, I do not have under control just yet and that's because I I'm still not chill enough on the course and uh, I'm too eager and I uh, am not good enough to uh, to do everything at the right time uh, always and then still stay very loose anyway but that's golf, eh? you, you all know it. <laughs> of course you do. Uh, that's why we play the game, because it's so difficult and a mind fog. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, specifically I want to uh, uh, thank so many of your people. Uh, Mark, uh, of course, uh, Simon and um, uh, Martin from Hawaii. The, the, the community, or community, you know. I've got a niche with my uh, channel, uh, you know. Uh, 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 although everyone should love and really get into metal music because it's the best music there is, uh, of course, you know, it's logical that my channel will uh, always stay a niche because I will keep it in. There's no way about it. It's metal, it's golf, and that's what it is. And the rest is, you know, our story, and you, I'll take you along. But things like what happens today that people recognize us on a Nunspate and that I get around to play with uh, uh, new people like that who are also crazy about golf and love it as, as, as much as I do I think it's fantastic also someday uh, I'm going to play with uh, Peter and then not uh, Mr. Pure Metal but a different Peter Peter and um, we also got around due to Facebook groups he looks at the videos and extremely all nice people you know and that's what it is also about for me. Of course, my game first. But you know, you get around, you're outside, you're meeting new people. It's just great. It's really great. I love it. So, um, yeah. Um, so this was more or less uh, just a, uh, an update. I do not uh, know how long I have already been talking. <laughs> So, um, I just want to thank you all, the interaction, it's fantastic, uh, 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 Lee Jay, uh, Finland, I love to be there one time to play a round with you in Finland because, you know, I love the country and love some people there and uh, uh, I, I should mention every everyone of course, but uh, I hope that 2022 will be a year where uh, we all live in a little bit more relaxed world because the world where we live in right now is of course a little bit uh, crazy and uh, nobody's fault but uh, yeah it is what it is and we I hope you all stay safe and stay sane and be uh, kind to yourself and be kind to others and I just want to say thank you very much love out Stay metal.